Yanda Kumalo, aka Black Rose, coming at you with another video. And today's topic is a bit heavy, but today I'm going to be talking about toxicity in all its forms be it your toxic relationships, be it your toxic business deals, be it your toxic views, everything toxic. And the reason why I chose this topic is because I came to realization that in my life i could have been so far i could have been further than i am now even though i am happy with where i am now but i could have been even further if it wasn't for the toxic so toxic relationships and toxic business deals and toxic people in general that i had around me and i feel as though as much as there will always be toxic people. There are certain instances where you attract toxic people. You attract toxic deals. You attract toxic friendships, relationship. And that's because you're in a space where all you're doing is sending out negative energy. Not Sometimes it's not even because you want to, but because... You're at a space where you're hurt and you know hurt people hurt people so the first thing you want to send out is negative energy negative vibes and that negative energy and those vibes attract people that tend to be very negative which means they tend to be very toxic and that is the worst thing to have in your life because it is so difficult to get out of a toxic situation. It is so difficult to get out of a toxic relationship. It is so difficult to get up, get out of a toxic friendship. It is difficult to get out of toxic business deals. It's just difficult to pull yourself out of toxicity. Hence, it's such a huge topic for me. So with me, I've been in toxic relationships. I've been in toxic friendships. And it's funny how people always say that if you're, if you're being hurt, if you're being abused, if you're not being treated right, just leave. And I must say, it's not that easy. It's not just you saying, okay, I'm leaving. I'm done with this. That's not how it happens. That's not how it works. Because how it happens is you begin seeing the littlest of things. And you just brush it off as, no man, it's just, it's just a one-time thing. But when you start seeing them fully, then you start telling yourself that, no, I know who this person was. I know how I came into contact with this person. So I'll just wait for them to go back to that person. And that's not how it works. That's not how the universe aligns you with things that are meant for you. But because you stay in them, you're, you are shutting out everything else that is meant to come to you. And I mean, I am no, I am no pro in this because I still find myself in toxic situations. But now I've learned to notice them faster so I don't get stuck within them. Because being stuck is the worst feeling in the world. Being stuck, it, it puts you in such a, a, a stage within yourself that... You don't know what's next. You don't know where to go from there. You don't know how you get yourself out of the situation. Then you start blaming yourself as if you knew that you're getting into a toxic situation. So, honestly, what we need to start doing is, first, I can't say avoid toxic people. The first thing would be heal. If you can help yourself heal, if you can get help to heal, you won't be as toxic. If you can get yourself to a place where you realize and you know who you are, where you're going, what you're meant to do, and even knowing where you come from, and that shouldn't be an obstacle anymore. It shouldn't be as much pain anymore. 
but it's something where you're like, you know what, that's where I was, but that's not where I want to go. That's not where I am now. So in turn, you become a person who's redefined all the pain into joy. That's the first thing, heal. And the second thing would be try and pick up on the smallest things. Pick up on a change of attitude. Pick up on a, a transaction that went wrong. Pick up on all the littlest of things. Because that's when the danger starts. And that's when you start saying, no, it's just the one-time thing. And when you start hearing yourself or seeing yourself say, it's just the one-time thing, pick up on that as well. Because that's when you'll be able to say, okay, no. I'm not supposed to be doing this. This is not how things should go. And be a person that always puts out positive energy. Put out positive vibes. Even when shit is hitting the fan. Remind yourself of the positive notions. Remind yourself of the good things. And as much as I am saying give out positive vibes... When you're in a toxic situation, there's no giving out positive vibes because all you feel is negativity. But, but steer that negativity. Change it. Make it something else. Don't let it hold you down. Don't let it handcuff you. Because there's no keys to negative handcuffing. There are no keys. And all in all, with toxicity, the best thing to do is teach yourself how to let go. Teach yourself how to forgive. Teach yourself how to heal. And you'll be able to avoid toxic situations. And again, I'm going to share a poem with you guys that aligns with this topic. No strings attached. A sentence that came attached. Attached with consequences, emotions, and all that more attachment. But taped with a striking do not touch. Dare I stretch out my arm over this attachment, it retreats like a tortoise to its shell, a bird to its nest, a lion cub to its peck, a bat to its cave, and love to its pain. Attachments weren't meant to terrify, but here you were shaking in your boots. Here you are teeth clattering, heart fluttering, but you misunderstood my attachment. It came with a set-up manual a backup tutorial, and a contract of peace. This attachment had no strings to attach. It had strings for you to pull at, to pull at in pain, to pull at in joy. These strings were for you to hold on to. These strings were to help you heal. These strings were to help you feel again. So no strings attached. These strings had no attachment. And attachment had no strings. So all in all, you are able you are very able to leave any toxic situation. Any toxic situation you find yourself in is not permanent. It is temporary. It is a sign. It is a chance for you to do things differently. And I leave you guys with peace. I leave you guys with joy. Stay blessed with love. From me, Zianda Kumalo, a.k.a. Black Rose, signing out.